Rashan and Avi, it's nice to meet you both. Are you guys, are you a team? Yes. Yes. We're best We're friends. Best friends. That's, oh, there's another thing I hear all the time. Everybody in my house does things that are sus. My son will walk I up. Do not that care. Is I do not us. play Among Us. I love Among Us, but yeah. we stopped playing it a few weeks ago. I only play it in Roblox, bro. Because I've got the animal booty. You used to play Among Us, just so you know. <laughs> well, do you like it best when you're the killer? Yes. Yeah. I also like I it. I am the imposter. Imposter, that's it. Not the killer. But you do kill people as the imposter, right? Yeah. yeah, you do. You do. I've heard a lot about this. In fact, my son was making cutouts of these guys earlier. Of He has a red one, a black one, and an orange one. I don't know what they all mm -hmm. mean, but well, thank you for joining us tonight. And I don't want to take any more of your time up. I want you to be able to present. So what I'd like you to do is each say your name, your age, and where, what part of the country, what country you live mm -hmm. in. And then you could start your presentation. And um, if we have time left over, Michelle and I get to ask you questions. Oh. I am Rishan. My I'm 10 years old. I like playing uh, Roblox, reading and singing. I live in the country, Singapore. My name is Avik Kaushik. My age is nine years old. My hobbies are playing Roblox and metal simulator and coding. I am currently living in Singapore. Me and Rishan call and Turing Ninja. My game is called Flappy Ninja. I love it. As you know, Flappy Bird, uh, my teacher taught me how to make something like it. We have coded the up arrow key to make it go down as gravity is pulling it down. Every time it touches these uh, hurdles, it loses a life. So if you lose all your lives, game over. Um, my next game is called Crazy Modern Art. <laughs> as there is a lot of uh, balls, as you can see, all uh, every time I press the green flag, they move to a random position and music starts. Lines connect, making a pattern of colors. What's this game? My next game is called Abstract Flowers. Abstract Flowers is a big flower uh, which changes its color. This flower is actually a background. Our teacher has taught us how to coat the background. Whenever we press this button, it starts. And whenever I press the red button, it stops. So the, the color is not actually moving. We coded it to uh, change color every time, forever. Now my last game, it is called uh, Dino Jump. In this, there's a dinosaur, it jumps, you have to avoid these hurdles that will be coming at you. If you don't, you get electrocuted, lava falls on you, and your head gets cut off. Oh my. Press the up arrow key <laughs> to jump, and your head just gets cut off in the last one. Oh my goodness. Only that. You don't get electrocuted in the rest. <laughs> Over to Avi now. I have to say, before you move on, I have never seen a, a game like the Abstract Flowers. I find that really interesting because it's very different than everything else. 
and you apparently don't get electrocuted or get your head cut off in that one. <laughs> it is my game called Cool Dancing Animals. It, this game is where you have where you have to click either one of the characters, and they will dance for you in some stage. You have to press the green flag to make it go. So you can either choose one of these characters to make them dance. I will choose this. We'll repeat this four times as you can see in the codes below. Okay. Once you're done, it will go back to its position to the home to the home stage and you can click another one and it will dance for you. Mm, my my teacher in turn just had teach me how to uh, code all this. Okay, now the next I'm going to show to you is um, the cannon shooter game. It's a game where um, you are the cannon. You have to press the space bar to shoot the monsters that will be coming to your place. You shoot, you sh if you shoot one of them with your cannonballs, you, you will get one score. Each monster you hit gets one score. The space bar, and you can just hit them all you want. Every time you hit them, you get a score. Or you can just uh, continue pressing the space bar and cannonball to keep on coming out. <laughs> we'll follow your mouse pointer as you put it anywhere. Press the red stop button to stop all the monsters from coming to your place and the balls stop shooting. Wait, they do shoot. They do shoot. The next game I'm going to be showing you is my last game, is it actually, is the patience game. It's supposed to be called the maze game, but I just called it the patience game because some people. They go really fast and you hit these stuff and you go back to the position line. I'm gonna try. So you have to press the green flag to restart all over. Use your uh, key arrows as like your this, your right arrow, your up arrow, your down arrow, and your left arrow. Once you reach the apple, I mean, once you touch the black lines, you will uh, go back to the same position and you will get lost, don't give up. Once you reach the apple, you will get you will see that the knight will be saying you, you did it for two seconds. Or you can just refer to the code at the side. My teacher told me how to code this. Although it was hard, my teacher helped me. Without her, I wouldn't have coded this. Once you reach the apple, and you better you do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, these were great. Very different. 
and, and unique. And I like the cool dancing animals. Yeah. I like ones where you don't get murderized. Don't get yeah, <laughs> if that's such a word. <laughs> I make up my own words. All right, all right. <laughs> Um, no, these are very interesting. And, and uh, how long did it take you guys to do these? Uh, our teacher just sent us uh, a slideshow. We just had to put everything in it. Yeah. And um, how long did it Sometimes take? we do it as homework or we'll do it. We didn't do it as class. homework at all. And Not some, the some I did, some I did, some I did. I did my part. What fun homework. Uh, I don't like homework. No. <laughs> <laughs> really, it's kind of hard for me. Uh -huh. but if it's it was rest, actually kind of easy for me. For you. Yeah. So they well, have been learning like since an year. Now they started last uh, May, June time, last June. I see. So all these were created then during that time. Mm -hmm. And so I asked them that come and present her at the gift now. That's great. That's great. I said no the first time. So did I, but I don't know how we ended up here. <laughs> well, we're <laughs> glad you did. We're very glad you did. Thank you so much. Do you guys think you're going to stay a team and you're going to keep working together on new yes. games? Yes. As we are best friends yeah. since we were, since ever since we came to Singapore. Ever since you were no, a kid? No, 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 no. After like yes. a few years, I came to Singapore. <laughs> when I was two, we became friends. Wow. Right? Well, and now we're split apart. Make, make a great song. team. Do you oh, play? Wow. Do you play each other's games? We play Roblox no, sometimes. Not all the time. <laughs> I like how they're best friends that disagree well. Yes, yes. They do a good job <laughs> with that. Well, thank you guys very much for coming and showing us what work you've done. And I think you have some pretty interesting games and not all of them look scary like that thing you have on the screen right this minute. Look that is Avi's choice, not mine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> You guys are uh, contrary best friends. That's pretty cool. All right. That's good. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cam, can we play Roblox now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.